we're pleased to be joined here at center court by Dan Hurley. Dan, you uh, you had a pretty good chuckle a couple of times just watching yourself. What is that like, watching yourself in practice and in meetings? Well, I, obviously, I look like a crazy guy. <laughs> but, um, but I think that's uh, like kind of the genius of my dad. I just, I, I watched him prepare his team on, on the practice floor in such an intense and stressful fashion um, that when we got to game night, um, it, it felt, uh, the game felt slower, less intense. And then he switched roles on game night and went from like this driving taskmaster to this like a person that really then tried to build up the confidence of his team on game night. Uh, you know, when the lights come on and the, and the pressure's on, he became more like a, a, a boxing manager in the corner in between rounds trying to pump up his fighter. Danny, you're, you're very self-deprecating uh, about your playing career. You're a really good player. You're a really good high school player, really good college player at Seton Hall. And you hear all the time about coaches, they'll say, you know, coaches will say, playing for this guy, playing for Danny Hurley isn't for everyone. Could you have played for you? Yes, uh, <laughs> it would have been tough, and um, but I, I think um, you know what, what 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 I do is I get the most out of everyone that, that plays for me or or works for me. You have somebody that every single day, every second that these kids are on campus, I'm going to push them to be the best uh, the best young man they could be, the best student they can be. I'm going to push them to acquire and develop skills at the most rapid rate. I'm going to teach them how to win and succeed. Um, and, and these are all things that are going to not only lead to success in their basketball career, you know, but these are things that are going to take with them in life and lead to lifelong success, you know, both uh, professionally but in family life. Um, you know, I try to model the right things with my wife, Andrea, who, who's my own personal head coach. Um, you know, but it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's uncomfortable to, to play for me. I make you uncomfortable because I'm trying to get you to a level that you don't want to go to, and that's the role of a coach. You know, Coach, people are, you're talked about being crazy, but I think there's a different side to you because when you saw this sign and you walked out, it, it kind of got you for a second. What, what? I had a question for you, but I got to ask you about this. What did this one mean to you? Yeah, this guy right here, you know, I got, uh, you know, I got my son Danny who, you know, is back in Jersey. He deals with me on a, on a macro level, <laughs> <laughs> big picture stuff. And then I got Andrew and, uh, who's, uh, you know, senior night's gonna be tough for me, an emotional night, because it's meant so much to me to spend this four years with them. He's such, been such an integral part of the locker room and the team, and uh, I'm not gonna cry right now, because I can't <laughs> let Villanova see me look soft. <laughs> <laughs> But you almost got me, bro. You almost got me, bro. And we have, um, you and I have a picture, uh, we talk about this, when I was eight years old, the Pocono Invitational Basketball Camp with you and your brother, um, there was a range contest, and I remember afterwards, you were like, always work. I'm so curious to ask you about this. In today's age, where you hear a lot of coaches talk about kids not really wanting to be challenged, not really wanting to be yelled at, or how they want to transfer out, but obviously there's an emotional, you know, a, a huge EQ side of you as well. How do you balance that? And how do you get kids to buy into that toughness as well? Yeah, I think um, it's the time we spend with them every day that these kids are on campus. And it's basically, you know, 10 and a half, 11 months a year. You know, we're here with them. I'm here with them. I don't golf. Um, you know, I, I don't vacation. I'm not writing books on leadership. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a coach and I'm, and I'm present and I'm involved in every aspect of their lives and they know I love them, they know I care, you know, they know I want them to be great. Um, they know that uh, I'm going to be their biggest supporter in tough times and, and um, you know, I think it's, it's a relationship thing, it's a time spent thing. You know, they'll give me that leeway to maybe go over the top like you saw in the video a little bit there um, because they know that I'm not a fraud, I'm not a phony. Uh, that, that I'm, a, I'm a real coach. And, and I witnessed that. I sat in that film session after the Creighton game. And in Danny Hurley's words, it was brutal. It, it was, was brutal. brutal. But at the, <laughs> the thing that, and I, I, I got to ask you, because this is a gift to me, the thing that I was most impressed with, at the end of that film session, 
you brought it back to being real. You're going to get your little bath thing or explain that. And, and, and those guys, <laughs> no, 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 no. But the amazing thing about it, those guys were like, they were with you every second of it. Like I walked out of there going, these guys love this guy. Yeah. And like you being brutally honest because you want to see them get somewhere they can't get themselves. And yet every one of those guys, they're hugging you and high-fiving you. I mean, like, how do you get to that point? Yeah, I mean, the, the teachers and the coaches and, the, and, and your best parents and your best family members, like they, they, they love the heck out of you, but then they were also honest with you and tough on you when you were being a, you know, when you were doing the wrong things, right? And um, so I have that balance with the players. Our video sessions, they are, they're brutal after we lose. Like, it's not okay at UConn to lose. Uh, it sucks around here when you lose, right, everybody? It's, the whole state is sad, man. It's like a dark cloud, so, um, but like I hear a lot of coaches say, you know, we, we all, what? <laughs> he hears hey, everything, losing by the way. You, no, you won't have, you won't have to normal. knock him out. <laughs> my, my senses from going in the float tank. Uh, I hear a lot of coaches say we try to make our, our video sessions short. Like we only show eight or ten clips. I mean, we, we watched every bad clip from that game, and, we taught, and, and it took an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and everyone's attention was completely locked in. Um, because that's what we do. The, w the way we work, the way we prepare, you know, it's championship level. Uh, if this is your passion, if this is what you want to do for your career, if you can't sit through an hour and 15 minute video session, which is going to determine your future success, get out of this industry because this is only for the most competitive people.